Hey guys, I just want to tell you about some things in the world map of Mario 3 and some secrets and some Easter eggs you might not have noticed. So, in World 1, there is a moat around the King's Castle if you haven't noticed. In World 2, if you have a hammer item on one of the last world map rocks, you can break it with the hammer and see a toad house with a frog suit and a fire bow with a whistle. I'll tell you what the whistle does later in the video, by the way. In World 3, if you have a hammer, you can break the second rock and see a canoe and see the toad house island that's actually shaped like a mushroom. So, and also in World 3, the King's Castle Island is shaped like Japan. World 4 is actually shaped like a Koopa. If you don't know what a Koopa is, just in case you haven't played Mario 3 before, it's just a turtle or a Koopa Troopa, just to let you know. In World 5, in the first level, you can fly up at the beginning in your... If you can fly up at the beginning, sorry, um, and you'll see a pipe that leads you to a dev exit. World 6 is actually the longest world with the most secrets also. In World 7, on the first level, there was a crazy glitch that lets you beat the game in one minute almost. Crazy guys, right? Also, World 7 is shaped like pipes. World 8 is the last world and has no toad houses and spade card games. World 9 lets you skip worlds and the whistle lets you access it. And if you use your first two whistles, you can access World 8. By the way guys, thanks for watching. And if you like it, like it. If you love it, subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you're getting into trouble. Okay? Goodbye. Please comment what you thought about this video. And I'll see you next time.